Hey, happy homebrew Wednesday. How's it going, guys? So, today I am doing a couple of things. Sterilising my bottle, so I'm about to bottle my European Super Lager. It's come out 8.4%. Smells good. Initial taste is good. 12 weeks conditioning, obviously, before actual consumption. Uh, so it's going to be October before that vids out, but signs are looking good so far. Uh, what am I going to be up to? Possibly I might brew it tonight. I don't know. We'll see how long the bottling takes. Um, but I'm going to be brewing either tonight or possibly the weekend a bastard barley wine. <laughs> that won't be the name of it. But it's going to be a triple kit barley wine. So we'll have a look at these. My soon-to-be sister-in-law, Becca, told me about these that were on sale in a local supermarket because they were out of date or they weren't out of date when I bought them but they are now, there was May that I got these um, barley wine kits, Young's barley wine kits one and a half kilogram kits uh, so out of date means nothing as far as tinned goods is concerned uh, and it's only just out of date so they used to be fine as well so I'm going to put these two kits into a fermenter I'm also going to add a Cooper's bitter that I got from Ms. Angela Gori, who works in my department of work. Thank you very much for that. I'm going to add this so it's a triple kit. And molasses. A whole jar. 740 grams. There's a recipe on Cooper's website, The Brewing Guild where they talk about doing a, a Russian Imperial Stout and you've got three kits uh, I think it's a real ale, a stout and a, and a lager kit and you shove it all in a fermenter with a kilo of dextrose and uh, use all three packs of yeast and I think there's some hops addition as well but um, yeah so they I mean they're talking about getting a, a drink, a, a beverage, a beer <laughs> they're talking about getting a, a beer resulting from that, a stout of about between 9 and 10% alcohol, which is pretty mental. And I've been doing, obviously, the Super Lager 8.4. I've got Pirate's Booty Golden Summer Ale that I've just done. That was a non kit partial extract. That's come out 6%. It's tasting good. So I think after this, I'm going to try and do a couple of session beers, not high strength beers, just ones that you can sit and drink a few of. Uh, also, in addition to the, the kits and the molasses, I think I showed you this before. I'm going to do an addition of hops. I've got Challenger pellets and Bramling Cross whole cones. So I'm going to give that a bash. I'm going to shove it on the fermenter. I'm going to boil. I'm going to boil the the bitter kit with some water, obviously along with the hops and then I'll just add the rest of it into the fermenter directly because I don't have the capacity to boil three kits worth um, in the, in, you know, with the, the hops etc. But that should be fine, it should be fine. 17. So as a quick addendum to that video, I didn't use the entire jar of molasses. I used 200 grams of it. I used some dextrose to make up the rest. Um, posted on the beer, the, the beer forum that I use called jimsbeerkit.co.uk a couple of guys there were like mm, 740 grams of molasses it's just going to taste the molasses I've done it before, please don't do it so I've reduced it, 200 grams I want to get the flavour in there but I don't want it to be overpowering um, and I used 454 grams of dextrose as well OG is 1070 for the barley wine Enjoying a rowdy Rottweiler ale while I brew it. It's good stuff, 17. Mmm. It's amazing. You know, I got a, a beer tonight from a supermarket. It's called Old Tom. 8.5%. Some of you might recognise the name. It's uh, a really well established ale. And it actually says on the bottle, the best ale in the world. And I'm drinking it tonight. 
you know, and it's, it's all right. It's, it's you know, it's decent beer. But as I was drinking it, I thought to myself, I've brewed beer better, better than this. It, I've brewed beer that tastes better than this. So, um, yeah, I mean, mass-produced beer. I mean, Old Tom isn't mass-produced as such. I mean, it's not Tenant's Lager or Bud Light or, you know, any of these things. But, um, you know, it's it's very widely sold. And there's a lot less flavour to it than there is Rowdy Rottweiler Ale. This has got some serious flavour to it. Anyway, so the barley wine is done. It's upstairs just now. It's got all three packs of yeast in it. It's got two Young's barley wine kits in it. It's got a Cooper's bitter kit in it. It's had hops pellets and Bramling Cross whole flowers boiled into it. I won't bore you with the various additions throughout the boil, but essentially I added them in about every 10 minutes or so. Um, and uh, it's up there. Hopefully it'll be, by tomorrow, there'll be a thick head of croissant on it. And about a week or so from now, we'll be looking at some fermented barley wine. We'll bottle it up and it'll be ready for Christmas. Cheers! See you later!